Good morning, welcome, welcome everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Chrissy, and today I'm going to be giving you some prediction readings for the 25th of September. Um, welcome firstly anyone new to my channel, it's lovely to have you here, please consider subscribing, um, don't forget to put all the bell notifications on as well so you know my videos pop up. Hit those like buttons guys and please feel free to comment down below, we chat to each other here, we let each other know what's going on in our countries. As we know here, we don't often get the um, correct messages on mainstream media. <laughs> we only really get told uh, one specific narrative. So welcome everybody. Um, I haven't really got any admin this morning, guys. The only thing that I really wanted to just touch on, oh, well, we've got the Trump and Kamala Harris continuing, um, of course, until <laughs> November. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be a long month or so. Um, they're still going on about the assassination attempt of Trump. We know that's going to continue getting to the details of it all. Um, the other, only other thing I really wanted to talk about was Catherine. Yes, the Royal Kardashians. Kate is back in the limelight. We knew she was coming back. Um, very strange. Nothing makes sense. Looks like her own hair, her own eyebrows. She doesn't look any different except that she's thin as a stick. Um, who knows? Does she have an eating disorder? It's quite probable because Diana did. Um, she certainly looks wrinkle-free. I've got to say, a lot of us thought she might have had a facelift. We don't know. Is it cancer? We don't know because nothing's confirmed. It's all very strange. So watch this space, guys. But I did. It, I saw the footage of her in the purple dress and I just thought it was weird. Oh, sorry, it just doesn't add up. And I know a lot of you guys have had cancer out there and have gone through a real journey with that. And it's just bizarre to me. I, I'm just, sorry, but I'm just not buying it. But that's just my opinion, of course, guys. Each to their own. Um, all right, how about we get straight into the reading. Cheers, everyone. I've got a little bit of pineapple juice today. We're back to a bit of winter here again. Still haven't got the leaves on the trees. <laughs> yeah, the weather's so changeable. All right. Uh, I'll close my eyes and get started. We'll see what comes up, guys. I'm just getting it. People are returning to who they are. We know the shift and the great awakening is happening en masse. It's happening in a massive way. We know people are brrr, waking up very rapidly now. It was slow as a snail for a couple of years, but now everything's speeding up. So I'm getting this, people returning to who they are. People are starting to return to who they are. As, well, if you're on my channel here, you've pretty much gone through your awakening process and you've returned to who you really are. Um, we always talk about, releasing all the hurts, pains, and things we've gone through in the past, and now allowing ourselves to move forward. Oh, I guess as as individuals, but without the, the heaviness of, we call it the backpacker burdens. I know I repeat myself a lot, but we drop the backpacker burdens. We don't carry it forward with us. Once you're awake and you don't carry everything that has weighed you down for a long time, you don't carry it forward with you. You feel lighter. You, you have more clarity in your life. You feel freer. There's a real opening up of your chest. Um, everything just feels different when you awaken, basically. So I'm getting, this is really speeding up now. Things are getting faster and faster. Um, I, I put down to the growth of my channel, for example, the fact that people are waking up. That's another example I would use. Um, I'm getting a lot more movement on my channel because I feel that people are starting to really wake up to what's going on. It's becoming very obvious now, isn't it? Globally, this is everywhere. Um, okay, let's see where else we go. Yeah, getting Russia, Ukraine, I keep saying it. We're going to see a lot more of Russia, a lot more Putin, oh, a lot more of Ukraine and Zelensky. And he's going to do the, well, is me, we need support. I keep saying it. He wants military support. He wants monetary support. Zelensky's going to be getting his little piggy bank fed by all the countries. Um, but I am getting that. We're still going to get fed an enormous amount of Russia and Ukraine again. They're going to come back into the spotlight in the next year. We're going to just start hearing about them again. It sort of went a bit quiet with the Israel plasticine event. But now I feel like the spotlight's going back on Russia again and Putin. Um, all right. Because we know, well, we know China. Well, we always talk about, we call China panda here. Panda and Russia like like being the superpowers that dominate 
globally. So I do feel we're going to hear more from Putin. Gosh, I'm getting Australia and I'm getting areas like Gold Coast, um, Sunshine Coast, and I'm feeling like these are going to start becoming drug capitals. We know that things are being outpriced. Um, Gold Coast and uh, Sunshine Coast here in Australia are like sort of Miami, Florida, that kind of image, oh, a little bit like Hawaii, that beautiful beach is stunning. But I do feel like the drug issues are going to become really big in these regions. Um, they're going to have to have massive drug raids. Um, drugs are getting out of control because people can't afford to buy well, housing. We know is very unaffordable in these areas. So I am seeing huge drug problems, huge drug busts <coughs> in these regions. Because people are looking to escape all the stresses. So I do feel like for such beautiful, tropical, wonderful places, I do feel there's a huge underbelly of drugs. It could be bikies too, like biker issues. We know that the bikers and drugs go a little bit hand in hand. So I do feel like the Gold Coast and perhaps leading to the Sunshine Coast um, as well. In Queensland, you have the Gold Coast, you have Brisbane, the capital city in the middle, and then Sunshine Coast is above that. So I am feeling a lot of drugs and biker raids coming. This will be in the next six months I'm getting. All right. Huge issue. Drugs. And we know it's all the cocaine. We just recently had big drug busts where I am. There was tons of cocaine and people selling cocaine. Like it's in a country town. It's mad. It's happening everywhere, guys. Um, these sort of industries are really on the move. We know they are in America with the uh, cartel coming through the... Um, Mm -hmm. borders, um, huge drug issues. This is, well, this will become a global problem as well. Um, but we're going to see more of these raids and things like that on TV or here in Australia anyway. Okay, sorry guys. Oh. All right, the energy is getting very, very draining because of the speed that everyone's waking up. Um, there's like a, well, a lethargy, a tiredness that's coming over the land or just coming over everybody because everyone feels well not everyone but most people feel each other's energy all right keep getting england's rising you're going to you're gonna have these stand-ups i know you've got another a march or something it's good because the more people march the more people see it and the more people stand up and the more people join in and the more people feel confident to have their say and we know Starmageddon ain't winning any friends over there. He's mm, push, 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 push is Starmageddon. Um, so you're definitely going to have big stand-ups. Oh, and I'm getting, of course, and I've had this before, infants are going to start to be really indoctrinated. We knew this was going to happen. We know they're trying to get to the younger children through the preschools the early daycare learning centers, all this kind of stuff. They want to start really um, indoctrinating the kids. We know Trudeau sort of pushes this a lot in China. Um, he really wants to push this early education learning on little kids, but we know what it's going to include. All the transgender, um, non-binary, all this totally confusing stuff. That <sighs> This is still on the agenda, guys. Don't think it's gone away and no one's taking it up anymore because they're still wanting to push this agenda. And this is globally. They want to educate the kids younger and younger and younger. Um, that's what I'm getting. But it's around there. Well, I'm getting, we know that transhumanism, but it's the brainwashing. The earlier they can get to the kids, um, they know they can have an impact and they can steer the ship. This is the global elites with their reset agenda. They can steer the ship if they have control of it. Um, and an example of that is I've got an adopted child. I got her when she was two. Um, and still to this day, we have huge problems with her um, because she suffers reactive attachment disorder. She really has trouble attaching to people. So, you know, that's just an example. It, it shows you that those first two years have a massive high impact on who they are. So these government elites and leaders and things know this. So they want to get to the children earlier. 
Um, this is something they're really going to push. We're going to see more of this. Oh, let's get the education started earlier. I mean, why not let kids play and have fun? What happened to playing in the dirt and making sand castles in the sand pit and all that sort of stuff, doing a bit of finger painting, you know, basic things. No, you've got to be like working from day dot. It's practically, that's what it's like because that's their goal. Get us working from birth to death. That's how they want it. Um, as we know, the pension age is stretching out further and further and further. Um, no one has a life anymore. All right, let's keep going, guys. And I'm getting that if enough people awaken, this can definitely be turned around. Um, whew, I, I would say, and I've been saying for a while, we kind of are at tipping point where things are starting to tip. More people are starting to wake up now than aren't, than, well, than are asleep. Um, and this is what we want, guys. We want more people waking up. There is a new variant. We knew it was coming. I don't know what coming was called. There is a variant. Of course there is. Um, but what's the uptake on that? See, does anyone know anyone who sort of jumped on board with the uh, prevention? Um, picky, we're not sure, but they're pushing and pushing. Well, that's at least here in Australia. I'm sure it's worldwide. Um, but people aren't, I'm finding, well, me personally, and I'm sure you guys are too, people wearing less and less masks. I'm hardly seeing anyone in a mask anymore, which is kind of a good thing. You just see the odd older person at the grocery store or something wearing one, don't you? It's really, it's really good. <laughs> it's, so it sort of says to you that people are kind of moving on because they've got more, well, not more, but they, well, they have, but they've got bigger things to worry about now. They're, they're trying to live. The cost of living is destroying people's lives. Um, how do you navigate it? It's, it's just not easy. Um, and they keep hovering with this interest rate. They they drop the interest rate and then are they going to put it back up and then they tease and then they keep it on hold and there's all this... It's uncertainty because, well, here in Australia, the RBA told people that the interest rates weren't going to go up. Mm. 13 interest rates later under the El elbow government. So no one's really trusting and believing anything that's coming out of any of these mm, people's mouths. All right, let's keep going. I'm seeing Netherlands, and I'm seeing that Netherlands have had some really good wins. You guys are going really well over there. I'd almost say you're getting back to well, your grassroots. I, I feel like you're getting back to a little bit of normality. Um, it, it feels like you have been heard. All those stand-ups and fight-backs that you had were enormous with your farmers, etc. But I do feel like it's leading you on a good road now, um, a good trajectory. I feel like... Um, Making all those stands early on has really made a big difference. So I feel like the Netherlands is it's calming. There's a sense of calm coming over the Netherlands. Um, and the people are having their say and the people are being heard. They won't be dismissed. They're very strong. You're very strong in the Netherlands and I feel like you won't be dismissed. Um, you would do it again and again and again and again to make a difference. But I am seeing this sense of settle calm over the netherlands which is really great guys after all these years oh it's been such a long few years hasn't it of fighting all this stuff so i am seeing that that the little people peasants and lego people in the netherlands are finally being heard and it's made a big difference you've made a big difference over there by your stand ups and fight backs um it hasn't fallen on deaf ears you've made change in your own country just by verbalizing how you feel and physically everybody turning up because it's energy on mass. You gotta do it on mass. I always say that. People have to come together and support each other. So good results I'm getting in Netherlands. God, they're showing me, Ch well, Will Kardashians. We're getting Chucky, and they're showing me him sitting on his throne, and they're showing me his sausage fingers on the chair. Um, <laughs> they're just showing me, like, how he just really sees himself above people. He just really looks down on the, 
the peasants. Um, it's like he can't be stuffed. Like he's, I know he's trying to do the right things and, and turn up and, and see the crowds and interact with the people and be the real people person like the Queen was, but it's just not sincere. I still see him. He'd prefer to be just sitting on his throne, um, not interacting with the people. He's, I think he's a bit over it, to be honest. Um, he knows he has to do it because that's his duty as a king, but I do feel like he's a little bit, he's tired. I mean, he's not young. And, well, apparently he had the cancer, didn't he, apparently. Um, so he's a bit worn out. He's supposed to come to Australia soon, too. Um, so I do feel like maybe he's taking some time out or he's having some rest. Maybe he's going to let William step up for a little while while he kicks back. It's just showing me him in his throne having a bit of downtime. Um, he's a bit tired of it all. It's hard being a royal, you know, um, being in such demand. So I feel like he might push... William forward a little bit so he can have a little breather. Um, we're not going to not see him, but I do feel like he's taking some like time out to to rest and recuperate. Um, gosh, who doesn't get tired? You know, imagine at his age, he's not young. Um, so that's what I'm seeing. He he he's, he willingly pushes Will. Yeah, William forward to just. Fill in the gaps for him sometimes, which we knew was going to happen. I'd say, too, he's kind of probably transitioning him and preparing William as well for if something was to happen to him um, as well. All right. Yeah, people in France are unhappy. Um they're going to rise up. They are. They're not happy with the way the country is being led. Um, it's not the direction they want to go in. They want to have their say. Um, Macron's really got people offside over the last few years. We know that he has. And people don't like it. So I am seeing that France will stand up. They will fight against this in France. It's definitely going to happen. I'd say October, it's brewing. It's all bubbling under the surface, ready to like explode, implode, whatever you want to call it. But I do feel like France is going to rise. I'm just getting meat eaters are going to start complaining. We know they're trying to get it pushed into this plant-based, lab-based food that Lovely Billy Goat has been making in his labs. Um, we know they're still pushing all this agenda. So I am seeing like protests, meat lovers. Um, if we choose to eat a steak, we'll eat a steak and um, say no to chemical preservative bloody fake food. I'm just seeing all these signs like people marching. I feel like this will be in Britain. Um, I feel like it could be in Ireland, Scotland. I feel like a lot of people, probably farmers particularly, will stand up against this. Like, who has the right to tell someone they can eat meat or not eat meat? Like, that has to be a personal choice. But, of course, as we know, steak, etc. the cost is going through the roof. So they're sort of making it near impossible for people to eat certain cuts of meat. So I am seeing, like, more global protests around meat and, and meat should be a choice um i'm just getting that i feel like we're going to hear more about people standing up saying what why is why are we being pushed well it's people waking up see why we're we being pushed down a road of synthetic more synthetic foods i mean there's enough artificial preservatives and fake food out there as it is do we really need to be eating the fake bacon and the fake schnitzels and everything that's like rubber thongs um that's crumbed rubber thongs rather <laughs> Like, really? Um, so I feel like we're going to have more people like standing up and protesting about these things. They're not going to like it. Um, people are going to want to have their say. Because again, it's another thing being taken from them. All right. And you think about meat and things like that. It's a very cultural thing too for some um, countries, isn't it? You think of the pig on the spit or just the beautiful way that like Italians or Greeks or whoever, food is very important for a lot of cultures. So I think we're going to start to 
hear people rising up more against the artificial lab preservative filled fake food. Um, all right. I'm getting the Pacific again. We know there's all war protection talk. Everyone's wanting to get control of the islands and I'm just getting more of this. We're gonna have China involved with its threat. You know how it intimidates all the time with its flyover. They'll fly over the American boats or Navy ships rather or something like that. There's gonna be all this intimidation stuff going on and we're gonna hear a lot about it in the Pacific region where a lot of these islands are being taken over. Uh, I am getting that. There's going to be a lot more war talk. But nothing's going to come of it. Of course not. But it's all aggressive intimidation threats. And, of course, China will be right up there as, well, as Biden said, they're still acting aggressively. Um, we're going to still see more about it. So they're going to have to, of course, America, Australia, etc., to come together and really protect these waters. And, oh, it's just going to be a, another big way to spend money on military and navy and... It's just uh, all for what? All for what, really, if you think about it? Um, so we're going to hear a lot more about this Pacific region and the wee activity. All right, I'll say this one more thing, guys, and then we'll pull some cards. I am getting more driverless trains globally. More places are going to have driverless trains. We know we've got the driverless taxi cabs and all this stuff starting. So, yes, less jobs. Um, I think they're trialling the taxi cabs up in Cairns or somewhere in Queensland here in Australia. Um, but less jobs, again. So they're doing away globally more and more with train drivers. It's AI train drivers. Um, so I am getting that. So jobs in the train industry globally uh, disappearing. I'm sure in China there's probably no drivers anyway. Um, but I am getting that. They're going to start to really disappear now. Um, more and more jobs. Everyone's just, there's more and more jobs. And there's more, I've heard of more and more businesses closing in country town near me as well. There's another heap of shops closing. Small businesses are disappearing. Where is everyone going to work, guys? This is the question I know here on this channel, the BS Detectors, we ask this question all the time. Why aren't people thinking, where is everyone going to work? It's all well and good to go, oh, AI will be great. Not when they've got no jobs. I just don't get it, guys. Anyway, let's pull some cards for a bit of bit of guidance. Let's do an awaken card, guys. Oh, look, it's mad. I can't even believe it. AI just taking over, just creeping in everywhere. And people think it's a novelty when the robot brings them their lunch at a restaurant or something, but that's another job gone. Like, all these jobs, self-serve, more jobs gone. They, you know, you go to this supermarket now and there's like one checkout open and a big line of people with a big trolley full of stuff and everyone's at the self-serve. Like, the jobs are going by the day. Oh, it's mad. I stand strong and flexible in mind and body. So she's almost doing her yoga there, isn't she? So I guess too, when I think of that flexibility, I'm thinking of the flexibility of the the tree and just remaining stable, being able to bend in the wind, guys, and not snapping, just being very flexible, going with the flow, um, riding the storm, riding the waves, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's pull a life alignment card. I got my glasses, guys. Healing, and that's about taking care of yourself um, and working on the things that help you to feel better. Healing's very important. Healing can come in many forms too. It can be physical, it can be mental, and it can be spiritual as well. Um, Self-love, care, and compassion. I've got two of these. Well, that's how you heal. <laughs> By caring about yourself, self-love, care, and compassion. Compassion, I think... Probably we have natural compassion for others as well, but I think it's about having compassion for yourself mostly. Um, 
taking really good care of yourself. Let's pull a hidden oracle, the hidden world. Yeah, I forgot my glasses. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Hopefully, I can read it without my specs. <laughs> oh, there, we've got two. I'm going to read you two. Hopefully, I can. Oh, the secret. The unknown mysteries and wonders. That's beautiful, isn't it? And almost when I see that card, I've got the beautiful purple sky in the background, but it's like the veils are lifting. See, we've always been able to see through the veils, haven't we, guys, with our crystal glasses? We see the world through a very different lens once you're awakened. But to me, it's like the veils are lifting. That's what I'm getting for that card, the secret. It has. It's been like a hidden secret. The great reset and the awakening and the shift and all that has been a great secret. And the hidden world changes consciousness, awareness, and perception. See, that's, that's how we see the world. We perceive the world very differently to a lot of people, don't we? And there's been a lot of changes going on. We know that's still going on, the hidden world. And it has been a hidden world because we talk about everything being on a different vibrational frequency that sometimes you just can't see it. Um, it's like, well, four years ago and all this, we talk about it as the pandemic or whatever was kicking off. People couldn't see it. They really genuinely couldn't see it. And not only because of the mass psychosis that they were put into but they just really couldn't see it and it took still a few years before people started to see it it wasn't until other things started to roll out that people started to scratch their head and think wow this really isn't making sense um and then they started researching and questioning things um you know i tell you guys about my hubby's brother who was a real jibber jabber all in the narrative etc and now he's like he's discovered everything and he's so angry about it. And, you know, there's a lot of people waking up like that. We always tell you, I always say to avoid all the people's pain bodies rising up and the Karens and the angry people in the world because there's going to be more of it, guys, because people are going to be pissed. And not only just because they've probably been lied to and given a story that made no sense on the mainstream media, etc., etc., but because they can't afford to live, <laughs> basically. And that puts enormous stress on people. Um, especially when there's like no hope, like what direction is it all going in? Where's the light at the end of the tunnel for people, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Let me see if there's anything else to close with today. Oh, guys, I heard a really good song by the Foo Fighters, actually, that comes to mind. Um, learn to fly, learn, um, learn to fly. Uh, sorry, I'm I can't get the Tom Petty one out of my head. Um, by the Foo Fighters. Take your way and learning how to fly. Go listen to it. It's a really good song. It reminds me of us guys with the awakening and how we just, once you start awakening and you, your world opens up, you just learn to fly. You learn to get above things, fly above things, see things from a different perspective. You don't just take things at face value. Um, so check that song out by the Foo Fighters. Learn, I think it's Learn to Fly, Learning How to Fly, something like that. All right. I'm getting that Stevie Nicks song. Love lasts forever, face to face. Oh, city and mountain, stay with me, stay. I need you to love me. I need you to care. Take from me my lace. Is it leather and lace? Had that song before. Um, it's a very pretty song. Maybe go play that today. Sometimes I don't know why we get the music, guys. Sometimes it has meaning for you or it's just a vibrational um, sound that we need to hear. Um, sometimes it's a memory. Uh, let me see if there's one more thing, guys. Oh, I'm going to leave you with Coldplay today with Trouble, Trouble, Trouble. 
Coldplay's Trouble. I don't know why we're getting that. You know how much I love Coldplay, guys. Um, if you're new here, I often <laughs> I often relate. We have a couple of set songs that the guides have given us for this channel. One of them is Don't Panic by Coldplay, <laughs> which was a song that we got a couple of years ago um, because it was quite overwhelming going through this process as awake people. Um, the other one is The Guides Always Give Us by Josh Groban, You Raise Me Up So I Can Stand on Mountains. But today I'm going to finish with Trouble by Coldplay. So go listen to that song. Um, let's go listen to the words. All right, guys, I'm going to say goodbye from Australia. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thanks heaps for being here. Thanks heaps for commenting, liking, subscribing. And like I said, please consider subscribing if you are new. It would be lovely to have you here. We chat to each other. We talk to each other and let each other know what's going on because often we do not get told that information. So take care. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everyone.